Right. Aggregate supply in economics is a concept that is still heavily debated. So chances are you would have learned about aggregate supply in all sorts of different ways. Um, this is just a general overview of aggregate supply. You can have two different types of aggregate supply. Short run aggregate supply, which is affected by the costs of production for firms in the macro economy. And you also have long run aggregate supply, which is affected by the quantity and quality of the factors of production available. Let's look at short run aggregate supply first. Doesn't matter if you've learned this is just aggregate supply, fine. Doesn't matter really. Um, as long as you get the theory, the understanding of what's going on right, you'll be fine in any exam situation. So here, you've got short aggregate supply, upward sloping, just as we've learned in micro. Uh, but in a macro sense, what might affect the cost of production of firms in the whole economy? There are four main ways in which the cost of production can be affected. One, if there is a change in the price of commodities, the change in the price of raw materials, that will impede cost of production. So an increase in the price of oil, for example, will shift short and aggregate supply to the left. So an increase in cost of production will shift supply, short and aggregate supply to the left. So uh, an increase in that will shift SRAS to the left. And vice versa, reduction in the cost of production will shift SRAS to the right. So that was one, an increase in the price of commodities slash raw materials. Um, second of all, an increase or change in wages. If there is a change in wages in the economy, uh, that's going to affect cost of production. So an increase in wages will increase the cost of production and shift SRH to the left. The third factor um, could be an increase in business taxes, like VAT. An increase in VAT will increase the cost of production and shift SRH to the left. And maybe an increase in the price of imported goods. So firms that require imports to purchase raw materials, if the price of imports goes up, then that increases the cost of production for firms, SRS will shift to the left. So a rise in the cost of production from any of those four points will shift SRS to the left. A fall in the cost of production from any one of those four points will shift SRS to the right. That's short on aggregate supply, cost of production. Long on aggregate supply, well, this is the Keynesian version of it. You could have also learned maybe the classical version, which is just a vertical curve like that, doesn't matter. Okay, long run aggregate supply, whatever curve you've learned, is determined by the quantity and the quality of the factors of production available in the economy. So what's shifting this curve are very simply supply side shocks. Shocks to the system uh, which can occur immediately. Whereas change in the quantity and quality of the factors of production can take a long, long time. It can take ages to occur. So this determines the size of the economy, how much the economy can actually produce, which is why when the curve becomes vertical, we're at the full employment level of output. When we're producing at YFE, we're producing the maximum the economy can possibly produce, given the levels of factors of production. So what can shift this curve, what can affect long-run aggregate supply, is an increase in the quantity and or the quality of the factors of production. If these things increase, then what the economy can produce, the maximum it can produce, will increase. If any of these decrease, then the amount the economy can produce actually falls. So, if I was to show you what that looks like, an increase in the quantity and quality of the factors of production would take you to LRES 2. And then you can see here, look, the full employment level of output, the maximum potential of the economy has increased to YFE 2. The economy can produce more now because it's got more factors of production. So what might have caused that? Well, maybe an improvement in productivity, which increases the quality of labour. Labour is a factor of production, the four being land, labour, capital, enterprise. So an increase in the quality of labour will increase long-run aggregate supply. Maybe an increase in investment, which increases the quantity and quality of capital. Maybe there has been an increase in immigration, which increases the quantity of labour. An improvement in technology, which increases the quality and quantity of capital. Right? Maybe there has been an improvement in infrastructure, which increases the quantity of capital in the economy. So all of these things, anything that increases the quantity and quality of land, labour, capital, enterprise, will increase LRAS. Anything that decreases that will lead to a shift of, to, to the left of LRAS. So LRAS is all about the quantity and quality of factors of production. Short and aggregate supply, drawn just as a simple upward slope, is determined by changes in the cost of production. That's all you need to know. Four reasons why that might shift and lots of reasons why this may shift.
as long as these are the reasons why you're shifting the curve, you'll be fine. Thanks very much. See you next time.